Hi, Scorpio. Some sage to cleanse the space. Thank you, Spirit. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, my name is Greta, and I do want to thank you very much for tuning in and supporting the channel. I am an intuitive reader. I do look at the your horoscope, your uh, zodiac sign, um, the planetary placements, um, the sun, the moon, and those placements to get a good idea of the energy that may be surrounding you at this time. And when I'm using these tarot cards, I'm using that to tap into my intuition. And I will always trust my intuition. Thank you, Spirit. And I hope that you do as well, Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, if this is your first time tuning in, a little bit about the layout of this reading. When we look at this top row, we will be looking at your public life, your professional life, and your public image, and the energy that is surrounding you there. When we look at the second row, that middle row, we'll be looking at your private life, your personal life, your home life, and the energy that is surrounding you there. What I have found, <laughs> okay, and let me not get too far ahead of myself. I just had a thought. Thank you. One moment, please. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. And Scorpio, this third row is final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway from the reading. And what I was thinking or what I was saying is just because I have it in my mind that we're going to be looking at your public life, that we're going to be looking at your personal life, that we're going to be looking at final thoughts, final messages. Spirit works in uh, its own way. Um, you know, source is going to do what source is going to do. And so sometimes we may be talking and this situation may line up with your uh home life a little bit better and vice versa this middle row may line up with your uh public life a little bit better but it's about really trusting your intuition and applying what works for you in its own situation um that is just the way that spirit works. And so sometimes, many times I'm like, is this, this, your home life is affecting your personal life or uh, your public life is affecting your home life. And so hopefully that made things as clear as mud for you, Scorpio. And Scorpio, the foundation, the basis of your reading this week is the Five of Swords. Stormy weather, there's winners and there's losers. Maybe we're looking for clarity or struggling to find clarity in a situation. Yes, and that is backed or forced by the Eight of Swords, which is we're feeling stuck. There's something that we are not seeing, something that we're not feeling. And I am honestly not surprised to see these cards um, in your reading this week. Um, we're having still having the effects of the full moon. And then plus the sun has just moved into Cancer. And Cancer has the ability to kind of make us all feel a little bit more emotional, um, a little more um, 
connected emotionally or a little more erratic. And perhaps I think that you're sensing that heightened emotions and you're really a little bit of unconcerned or unclear about where those are coming from. And let's see how those cards play into the rest of your reading this week, Scorpio. We start off with the chariot card, which is victory. Being the champion, being the best, competition, the four of wands, fresh starts, new beginnings, the death card, sudden change, endings bring about beginnings and beginnings bring about endings. There's a lack of, again, there's a lack of clarity, uh, a misunderstanding. Something needs to end so something can start. And I love that we end with this Ace of Pentacles here, which is a gift, a tangible gift, something that you can touch, something that you can hold, something that you can see. There, perfect, I love this for you, Scorpio. There is an increased competition in your work life, in your workplace. And this may, this competition has you considering opening your own business or even seeking new employment. But it has, this competition has you seeking something new. You're done, you're over this competition. You want, you're ready to move on. Moving on, whether it's with starting your own business or seeking new employment, but you're really thinking about or have or are leaving. It's just, it's unhealthy competition that you have been experienced. And this unhappy competition is going to bring about a happy ending for you. If you are planning on starting a business or maybe even expanding your business, you will be pleased with the results. If you're seeking new employment, you're going to be pleased with the results. You know, I like to say, build it and they will come. That is what I'm hearing here. This is just what you need to step into your power. And stepping into our power it can be a confusing time. And especially, again, with cancer season starting, this last few weeks, this last two weeks, this last few days of June are going to be very emotional for everyone. And so this change, this shift, is really being very emotionally charged. But this change, this shift has you stepping into your power. And as you step into your power, it's going to be something that not only you can see, but something that everyone around you can see as well. We're only as stuck as we allow ourselves to be. Beautiful, congratulations, Scorpio. I know change can be difficult, but this is a good change. Good change. Competition brings about good changes in you. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Following our passions, following our heart's desires. Someone from the past? The Page of Pentacles, appreciation, gratitude. I like to call this the something new we're grateful for. We're grateful for something new. 
followed by the Ace of Swords, knowledge, wisdom, information. The High Priestess card, the sky's the limit. High Priestess, something in disguise, not seeing something for what it is. Catching someone, I'm surprised I didn't see the Knight of Swords here or the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords. No, I don't. There's catching someone in a lie. When we catch someone in a lie, we can do one of two things. We can let it increase the tension and build a distance between us, or we can use a lie to springboard us into open discussions. And it is only when we can openly and honestly talk that we can get to the heart of the matter. And when we get to the heart of the matter, that is where healing begins. And when we get to the heart of the matter, that's when either we are not compelled to lie or someone close to us is not compelled to lie. It's, it's a song is coming to my mind. That song, that Don Henley song, where it's about forgiveness. It's time to get down to the heart of the matter and seek forgiveness. And getting down to the heart of the matter and seeking forgiveness is sparked or initiated by a lie. I don't even, I think I'm just getting the impression that it's like a white lie a uh, lie that there's no reason for it, that it, it's a lie to cover something that doesn't need to be covered. A lie about something that doesn't need to be covered. It's about forgiveness. And, you know, that forgiveness can also be forgiveness of ourselves. Sometimes we know that someone is lying to us, or we know that someone is dealing in half-truths. And we let that go on, and we let that continue. And we let that go on, and we let that continue until that little lie turns into a whole big explosion, a whole big episode, and it just snowballs, and it just snowballs, and it gets out of control. And then in a situation like that, it's about forgiving ourselves for letting a situation get so out of hand.
the moon card. And again, the moon card is talking about things that are hidden. Things that are hidden can coming to light. Things that are hidden that come to light that start us on a new path, that start us on a new journey. The Knight of Swords, stress, agony, pain, discomfort. The Nine in numerology represents vision and uh, intuitive power, um, intervention, anticipation. Anticipation, this is an extreme anticipation. It's like projecting. Maybe we're just overthinking, overanalyzing. Um, swords in tarot, represents our intellect, um, our heart, our mind, and the result, a result that can be seen. The result that can be seen is stress, and that's caused by anticipation. The two of swords, another option, another choice, a spiritual choice, an emotional choice, a, a choice. There is an option, a choice here for you to make that you're not seeing the answer to. Scorpio, support comes from the most amazing places. You may be finding the support that you need from a younger family member uh, or somebody that is younger than you or someone that you don't view of as mature. And The answer is going to come from a conversation with somebody that is younger or not someone that you do not feel as mature. Remember, Scorpio, this month it's better to receive than to give. And that is the message that I have for Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpio. You have a blessed week.